Hi everyone, I'm Alex Campanelli of Tesora. I'm here with Frank Days, also of Tesora, and we're two of the organizers for the very first OpenStack Days East here in New York City. We're here at the PlayStation Theater in the heart of Times Square, and for this year's event, we've seen over 500 people come through, and we couldn't be happier with the presentations that have been going on. Frank, do you want to talk a little bit more about the content we've seen? Sure. We, uh, we conceptualize this event as a community event, and the great part of it is that we recruited all the meetup organizers up and down the East Coast, from Toronto all the way down to Atlanta to put this event together. And that really helped us quite a bit in terms of trying to recruit really high quality speakers. The theme of the event this year was trying to talk with people about making OpenStack real. And with that, it was a very business focus and end user focus on the talk. So we saw an amazing array of, of uh, case studies from starting with companies like Walmart, Bloomberg, uh, NetApp, all the way down to names that we've heard at other OpenStack summits like Charter, uh, Time Warner Cable, Verizon, and on the list goes. Uh, and that's really made it a high quality event. And the feedback we're getting from people has been a lot of excitement around the fact that it was really more than just the standard uh, out of the box presentations as we have, but we've seen a lot of kind of net new content and original ideas come out. Hi, I'm Tasula Kokoris from IBM, and I run the Seattle user group and the meetups in our, in our region. Uh, one of the best things I think about these regional events versus the huge summits that are fantastic but can be overwhelming at times are the small, intimate conversations you can have with fellow users, um, the connections you can make with people that you have seen online but maybe have never met in person. Uh, there's some great topics this year at OpenStack East that I plan to take back to my user group in Seattle, uh, such as the tools and resources you can use once you've actually deployed your cloud in OpenStack, uh, the different ways that you can benefit from the other users in the community, and of course, since community is dear to my heart, um, ways that you can build your own meetup or participate in the existing meetups and contribute that way, even if you're not technical. I've really been enjoying the conversations with like users that are just starting to explore uh, OpenStack. You know, New York's got kind of a different vibe and feel to it than a lot of the other events that we've been to. Um, people that have uh, you know kicked the tires, but asking how to take it to the next level, um, uh, stretching OpenStack in new and different ways than uh, maybe what we typically see in the conversations uh, at the larger summits and what we've seen in the past. Uh, a lot of good like kind of positivity around like, hey, it's arrived. Uh, we're probably a little bit behind the ball. How can we catch up and actually get OpenStack out the door? You know, and, and asking those real world questions. It's kind of fun. Awesome. And so yesterday you did a keynote and you talked about what one-offs have more. So what are y'all doing with one-offs um, at Walmart? What are you hoping to do with it in the community? So uh, one-offs is actually a, a company that we acquired about three years ago. And uh, it really helped accelerate. So like the, the largest challenge we had at Walmart was not just building out cloud infrastructure, right? But how do we actually get our applications moved on to cloud? How do we get our developers using cloud? How do we get the right governance and processes and all that type of stuff solved and make it easy and improve that developer experience, right? And uh, that's what OneOps helped us do. And so we invested a lot over the past three years into OneOps and we're like, this is an awesome tool. Uh, can we bring this out into the community? So uh, back in January, we open sourced it, uh, and there's been some great conversation about it, but we wanted to see and have a conversation with the OpenStack community. Is this something that they were interested in and that we bring it in and make it part of this overall umbrella, or what is the right uh, approach to uh, get that kind of community participation and feedback around the tool so that we can even further develop where it's going and, and uh, maybe uh, blend that marriage between OpenStack and, and OneOps? Um, so, uh, Walmart's been doing some pretty cool stuff with OpenStack. We've been expanding at a pretty high rate, uh, adding new data centers, uh, adding a lot of new applications. One of the things that uh, is kind of new, we actually added, um, uh, OpenStack previously was really focused on our e-commerce side, but we're now onboarding all our traditional retail technology uh, uh, applications onto OpenStack, right? All those enterprise stuff, all those things that maybe initially seemed more difficult, but we're now figuring out, we're rewriting those apps, we're doing what we need to do, I'm bringing them through OneOps and running them on OpenStack today. Uh, to do some of that, we've also started to leverage some additional technologies. We've brought in a lot of Ceph. Um, 
Uh, we're also starting to explore in containers. We're actually running some uh, production workloads on Kubernetes on top of OpenStack, actually deployed by OneOps. So we're doing some uh, neat stuff and innovative stuff in that space.